Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? How's everything going? I'm very good, thank you. All right, that is really good to hear. Okay, thank you very much uh, for, for joining, Jader. All right. Uh, we are going okay. to get started with today's class. Espero que los demás se puedan incorporar too. I hope they, they can join us. Okay. Uh, first of all, vacaciones. Oh, probably. Okay, that's very <laughs> right. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask you um, one question. How was your day? Tell me about your day. What do you do? All day, I work. Yes, you worked. I work all day. Okay. What else? What yes. else did you do? Um, I went to my house. Um, okay. Ate uh, dinner. Okay. What TV? Okay, okay. Very good, very good use of simple past. Okay, that is pretty good. All right, so, uh, well, first of all, le voy a compartir uh, part of the, of the things that we are going to be doing today. Okay, allow me just a second here. Okay, so first of all, let me show you part of the, of the well, the objective that we have for today. Okay, let me share my screen right here. Okay, so this is uh, the objective of today's class, okay? By the end of the class, you will be able to form a positive negative statements with the past of verb B, and you will practice a conversation, how to use this in real life, right? So this is what we are going to be doing. Well, I guess that you are pretty familiar with this, Porque ya completo los ejercicios, you already completed some of the exercises, so this will come like really, really easy, okay? First of all, um, I have here like a couple of, um, okay, allow me just a second, I am going to eliminate the sound, okay? So we are going to uh, check, all right? We are going to check the simple past of verb to be. First of all, help me with this. ¿Cuáles son las dos, las tres, um, well, las dos formas del verb to be? How many do you have? En pasado. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is correct. In simple past. Was where. Okay, was where. And uh, do you remember con cuál, eh, cuál utilizamos, for example, for, for I, for you, for she? Do you remember them? Was. Okay. So I was. So yes. normalmente utiliza. Okay. That is pretty good. Okay. Allow me just a second. I'm going to show this. Okay. Hello, Edwin. Thank you for joining. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Okay. Thank you, mister. Okay. First of all, that is totally right. In simple past, tenemos dos formas, right? Was and were. So was is used for, ya lo vamos a revisar, okay. But first, I want you to take a look at the conversation we have right here. And this one says, let's repeat. So we have Emily and we have Emily's, um, Emily's dad, okay. So first of all, let's repeat this one. Welcome home, dad. Welcome home, dad. Oh, Emily, how are you today? Oh, Emily, how are you today? And Emily says, fine. Fine. Good. And how was the school today? Good. And how was the school today? Thank you. Ale, también puede repetir. You can also repeat, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Emily says, really fine. Really fine. Really fine. Okay. And that says, good. What did you do? Good. good. What did you do? And what did you do? Emily said, we made things. 
We're making. And then asked, like, what type of things did you make? Like, like what, what type, type of things did, did, you make? did you make? We made books. We made, we books. made books. Well, that's great. Well, well that's, that's, great. Great. that's great. Well, let's get ready for dinner. Well, well let's, let's get, get ready, ready, for, ready dinner. for dinner. Okay. 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 Okay, really good. Now, I have a question for you. How was school today in the conversation? How was school today? ¿Cómo estuvo la escuela? How was school today? In the conversation? Yeah. Really fun. Very good. Very fun. And what did she do? We made think. Okay, so we made some things. For example, uh, made book. Exactly, they made books. Very good. I want you to take a look at this one. The question is like, how are you today? ¿Cómo están? Right? But yo también lo puedo cambiar hacia pasado, right? Like, for example, how was the school today? Yeah, ¿cómo estuvo la escuela? I can change school and I can ask, for example, how was work today? How how was your family today? How were um how was your uh, daughter? How was your father today? I mean, there are like a lot of different ways how we can use it. And I want you to take a look at this one right here. Okay, we have this that is Tom is at school today. So Tom ahorita está en la escuela. But in simple past is becomes was. Tom was at home yesterday. Tom was at a school in the morning. Tom was at a school the day before. So, en vez de is, hacemos el cambio para was, all right? Okay. So, okay. you pay attention here, we have is, okay? So this becomes was, all right? Was. And we change it, exactly. So verb B means two things. Number one is, Ser o estar. So, yo fui, like talking about your personality, or yo estuve en un lugar, right? And we have the plural one, too. For we, normally we have are. We are at a school today. But if we made the change from present to past, take a look. Are becomes where. We were at home yesterday, okay? For example, imagine I ask you, where were you yesterday at 1 p.m.? Where were you yesterday at 1 p.m.? So with I, that I'm gonna show you this part right here, we have I was, okay? So where were you yesterday at 1 p.m.? I was at school yesterday. I was at the office. I was uh, at the company, okay? I was at a restaurant. Where were you yesterday at 1 p.m.? ¿A dónde estuvieron? Where were you? Were you at the office? I was at cafeteria, cafeteria. Okay, very good. So you were at the cafeteria, excellent. Exactly, so we may, <clears throat> We just use this one, I was, okay? Now, verb B, lo usamos para ser o estar, as we said before, but also, all right, I can talk about places, okay? I can talk about uh, feelings, okay? I can talk about personality as well. Take a look at this one. For example, cambiemos el contexto a little bit, all right? And let's talk about uh, enfermedades. Let's talk about illness. I can tell you, for example, ayer estuve enferma. I was sick yesterday. Yo estuve enferma. I was sick yesterday. Or the negative form, I wasn't. Yo no estuve, all right? Like, uh, yo no estuve enferma. I wasn't uh, sick. Yo no estuve en molesta, enojada. I wasn't angry, okay? Yo no estaba triste. I wasn't sad. So the only thing that we will do is this one, lo combinamos, I was or I wasn't, okay? Y luego agregamos el resto. So we can talk about places, personality, um, 
feelings, okay? And that is all right. Lo mismo sucede con ellos, all right? For example, imagine that I say Ali. Alejandra or Ali, you know, Edwin, Beatriz. So imagine that I say Beatriz. She was at school yesterday. She was at the office yesterday. Ella estuvo, all right? What happens if I use we, nosotros, or they? Like, imagine that I'm talking about all of us, y digo nosotros, estuvimos bien felices ayer. We were really happy yesterday. Nosotros estábamos muy molestos. We were really angry, okay? So here, solo lo vamos combinando. And if it is a negative, we use we weren't. Oh, nosotros no estuvimos en la casa. We weren't at home. Are you following me? Uh, do you have any question with this? Si tenemos preguntas, remember that tenemos un chat habilitado so you can share your um, questions over there, okay? And, uh, ¿Cómo, cómo, ¿Cómo distinguimos where de ubicación con where del verbo to be? Oh, like in pronunciation. Okay, sí. there is a tiny pronunciation a difference there that is like where, el de lugar, it's more like where, where were you? So, es bastante where, where. similar and they can be confusing. Normally, lo, lo ubicamos eh, por la posición en la que está, all right? Por la posición okay. en la oración. Mm -hmm. So, el contexto Gracias. se los da. You're welcome. Okay, so first of all, I will... Um, give you like one minute okay and i want you to try to make as many sentences as possible the donde estuvieron where were where you were okay uh como ustedes eran uh o como se sintieron ayer okay so you can say yesterday i was really happy i was not angry i was not sad okay so vamos a usar all the vocabulary that you already know plus this structure okay so one minute, tomemos nota, take notes, write as many sentences as you can. Are we ready? 
Are we ready, ready? Did you write down a couple of ideas? Yes, I finished. You finished? Okay, thank you very much. What about the others? Como vamos? Are we about to finish as well, Edwin? Teacher, for example, uh, my daughter was at the school yesterday. That is a really good example. My daughter was at the school, exactly. You can uh, talk about I your was, family. Uh -huh. I was at the beach last week. Oh, okay. I was at the beach. Exactly. Indicando donde estuvo, right? Okay, very good. Thank you. Actually, that is the idea. That is pretty good, all right? Okay, so listen up, everybody, because as we always do, all right, so we are going to make some groups. Allow me just a second here. Okay, so we are going to make some groups and I want you to share as much information as possible, okay? So compartamos as much as you can. Remember the idea is to use a verb correctly. So you can talk about you, you can talk about your family, you can talk about uh, your daughter, your, your son, as Mr. Pineda did, right? So let's get in the groups right now. Hello, Carolina. Le voy a dar mi, mis, mis oraciones que yo tengo ahorita. Okay. I was at the office yesterday. Okay. Uh, my wife was at a small on Monday. Uh, my daughter was at the school yesterday. I was at the beach last week. Okay. Esa es la que tengo yo ahorita. Mm -hmm. Edwin y quiero ver Alfredo. All right, all perdón, right. Perdón. Very good, actually. That is quite nice. Is solamente creo que mencionó my wife was at the mall. I'm not sure. Creo que escuché an, a different word. But that was at the mall, right? Mall. Mm -hmm. At the mall, como okay. shopping mall. Okay. Really good. That okay. is okay. Thank you. All right. No problem. So, Miss Leiva, Mr. Flores, what about you? Uh, hola, teacher. Yo hace poco entrado. Ah, uh, don't worry. So you can listen to them, all right? ¿Será que nos puede dar una otra explicacióncita? Oh, sure, no problem. Es que me quedé yo también. Oh, sure, don't worry. Okay. Estamos practicando this one. So we are practicing... Uy, a la música. We are practicing this, okay? Verb be, verb to be, in positive and negative sentences. So you can say, for example, I was at school yesterday. I was at the office, o lo podemos cambiar de contexto y hablar de nosotros mismos. You can talk about yourself. You can talk about your personality, your feelings. ¿Cómo se sintió ayer? Yesterday, I was really happy. Yesterday, I was a little sad because I lost $10, for example, okay? So, you can talk, all right, about places, a donde estuvieron, o cómo se sintieron. Is that good? Okay. Okay. Pero, ¿y la diferencia con el did? Porque, eh, por ejemplo, yo estaba haciendo, quiero ver, en la, la cuatro creo que es, y está una cosa de, 
de oración escondida. Pero really, esto también es pasado. Yes, really good question, uh, Vilma. Actually, let me explain this part really quick. I did, I am going to use it with all the verbs, except, except with verb to be, okay? If you say, for example, uh, uh, listen, okay? Read, write, drive, they are verbs. Verb to be is otro verbo, but they are never together. Nunca se combinan. You can never put them together. If you say, for example, yo estuve feliz, I am going to use it, um, or I am going to use verb be to talk about feelings. Pero no el did. Did lo uso solo con los demás verbos. Any other um, action, except el ser y el estar. All right? If you want to say, for example, yo compré, Hagamos el cambio. I bought. Compraste. Did you buy? Pero si es como ayer, yo estuve en clases, el, el verbo estar, estuve, tiene que ser el verbo be. Entonces ya no se combinan. We cannot put them together. Ah, uh, so okay. That is why. Mm -hmm. to, ambos Ay. son verbos, but they are different. Ah, ok. Sí, me había confundido un poco. Ah, ok. No, no problem. That's a really good question. Tell okay. me. Uh, for, for example, uh, I was tired yesterday. That is good. You are talking about your feelings. In my otro verbo, so really good. Okay. Easy. Digo, I feel tired yesterday. Sería en pasado. I felt tired yesterday. Si se puede, you can do it as well. Lo que no se puede es ponerlos juntos. For example, I was felt. Eso no se puede. Or when ah. you say, yo compré. Compré, buy. ¿Cuál es el pasado de buy? Eh, buy. Buy. Buy it. No, buy no es regular. No. El pasado de buy es ah. bought. Ajá, revisemos la like, irregular words. So, el pasado de buy es bought. All right? Oh. Entonces yo digo, yo compré, I bought. Pero no puedo decir, I was bought. All right? So, son diferentes. Oh. They are different. Ajá. Uh -huh. But Thank your you. sentence, Mr. Finale, was good. Very good. Okay. So, continue practicing. Okay. Y si encontramos o tienen otra duda, eh, please eh, go ahead and text that. Okay. So, la podemos compartir en el chat. Okay. Or you can, like, share with the rest of the classmates. Okay. Allow me a second. Voy a ver cómo van los demás. Okay. Let's keep on practicing. Estar es el verbo to be, de ser o estar. Es to be. Okay. Hello, bueno, ya entró la teacher, there. tal vez le voy a decir a... How are decir you? How are you doing here? Aquí, dilucidando. What happened? Do you have any question for me? Eh, estábamos eh, tratando de decir las oraciones que habíamos hecho. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead, please. Como por ejemplo, we were in sick yesterday. Okay, really good. Well, they were happy yesterday. Really good. Se puede decir. Of course, of course, yes. Imagine, I, for example, yeah. I was eh, ocupado, es busy or busy? Uh, busy, busy. Busy. I was busy in my work yesterday. Hey, excellent. They are really good examples, yes. Um, Otra sería, he was, he was at the party, very happy yesterday. That is really good. Yeah, perfect. Actually, eso es el uso, very good. Your okay. sentences are really well structured, really well, uh, really good use of simple past. Okay, so simple that's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That's really good. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Juan Carlos, I heard you have a question for me. Eh, sí, teacher. Primeramente le quiero pedir disculpas eh, a Sorry por, porque no pude entrar el día de ayer. Eh, he, estado, he estado, ahorita lo voy a decir un poquito, I am visiting my house. Yes, he I understand. Un poquito, he estado un poquito atareado en mi casa, ocupado, eh, porque tengo visitas de otro país aquí en mi casa que hemos venido a trabajar. Y los han dado llevando para que ellos prediquen la palabra de Dios en todo El Salvador. Así que, excuse me, teacher. Oh, no, no worries. Lo importante es que ya nos pudo acompañar nuevamente. 
y que usted está haciendo algo muy positivo, right? So don't worry about it, okay? Thank so, you, thank you, thank you. Sure, no problem. So yo creo que le, más, le explicaron la, lo que estamos sí, haciendo, estamos right? Más. What we are doing. Yes. So eh. estaban practicando, I heard, y no sé si me equivoco, tenía una pregunta. I heard you said, let's ask the teacher. So tell me, okay, how can I help you? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Do you have a question I'm for sorry. me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not here. My internet is in a Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, for example, we we were to the show the last Sunday. Uh, okay, okay. Let me just stop there for a quick second. Eh, usted quiere decir que estuve en la iglesia, ¿verdad? Okay, estuve en la iglesia. I was at the church. Is that right? Yes. Ah, uh, okay, okay, really good. Así so, yeah. I was at the church. Y yeah, lo que sucede uh -huh. es que escuché, no sé si Hugo wanted to say, yo fui a la iglesia. I went to the church. So I am no, not exactly. I were, oh, we, we, we were, were at the church. Were at the church. Ah, oh, okay. The last Sunday. Ah, okay, really good. So we were at the church. Estuvimos en la iglesia. Okay, very good, very good. Continue, what else? Okay, allow me just a second. All right, voy a verificar como los demás, eh, como les está yendo. All right, so continue practicing. And si tenemos más preguntas, please let me know. All right. Thank you, teacher. You are so welcome. You were in. Hello. 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 Um, you were in the movie. Action. Action. Hmm. How are you doing here? How are you doing here? Do you have any question for me? Es que tenemos la, la, la inquietud porque eh, se ha formulado una pregunta. You were in the movie at Sunday, pero no sé si es correcto at Sunday. O on, on Sunday. Yeah, that would be on, on. Sunday. Porque es el on. día, on Sunday. Uh -huh. uh, well, on. es una oración, right? Like you were, tú uh -huh. estuviste. Yeah, preguntas ahorita en un par de segundos le revisamos. But you were at the... At the no, es, no, no es pregunta, sino que estamos afirmando. You weren't in the movie on Sunday. Ah, okay. You went to the movies. Uh, okay, on uh -huh. Sunday. Yeah, that is good. That yeah. is good. Okay. Uh, so, Mayra, Beatriz, any question for me? Oh, Mayra, yo veo que se pudo conectar. Thank you. Thank you for joining. All right. So, girls, do you have any question? Yo formulé cuatro. She was at or yesterday. Okay, very good. He was at, was at, at school yesterday. Okay, My present. son was at school Monday. All right, on Monday. They weren't home in the morning. Okay, okay, that is quite fine. Uh, yes, uh, we were in at home, that would be at home. At home. Mm -hmm. At home, yes. Okay. But the rest of your sentences are pretty good. Really good job. Okay. Y esta, um, y esta pregunta estará correcta porque estoy ocupando I was tired after working to my job. Está bien. I was tired after work. We can use I was work. tired, yeah. Or I felt. Yo me sentí. I felt um, tired. Both are good. Yes. Beatriz, do you have any sentence for me or any question for me? It wasn't? Can you repeat, please? It wasn't dog in the garden. I didn't quite get it. Girls, did you get the sentence? Can you repeat it for me, please? I just got, I... I wasn't at the garden. Yes. Oh, I, I wasn't at the garden. Okay, that's that's okay. That's your good. All right. Yeah, Beatriz, that is okay. Um, all right. So, allow me a second. I am going to type it here in the chat 
so you can take a look at it. It wasn't, it wasn't at the garden. I don't know if this is the sentence. I'm sorry, Beatriz, what happens is, creo que tenemos technical difficulties and I cannot hear you well. But revise el chat, please. Can you check the, uh, can you check the, the chat? It wasn't at the garden. Is, is this your sentence? Pero, pero, pero le puse dog al perrito. All right, do me a favor. Can you uh, type it here, please? Puede compartirla en el chat. Can you share that? Okay, don't worry, take your time, that's okay. Uh, igual, si no téngalo por ahí, and uh, we are going to check it in a second. O si la puede compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp, that's okay, no problem, okay? The, the easy as you can. Okay, girls, very good job. Teacher, Vamos a, yeah, tell me, Mayra. Tengo una pregunta, y usted me dice si la he formulado bien. Yeah, tell me. You were in the park today afternoon. Okay, uh, sería una pregunta, right? For questions, mm -hmm. hacemos un pequeño switch. Normally, if it is a sentence, I tell you, you were, you were at the park. But in uh, questions, I do a little switch. Were you at the park? Estuviste en el parque, uh, okay. estuvo en el parque, were you at the park? Okay, so we do a little switching. Hacemos un cambio, right? We do bueno, a little gracias. switching. No problem. Thank you. Okay, girls, really good job. Vamos a volver a la eh, conferencia principal, okay? Allow me just a second here. Hello, hello. All right, so first of all, I want to start with something here. Um, well, creo que hasta este punto we got clear que no vamos a combinar el verbo uh, to be, okay, con did, no se puede, okay? We cannot put them together. That is thing number one. Second thing, no hemos practicado questions. So we are going to go for the next uh, part of today's uh, session, that is to practice questions, okay? First of all, I want you to take a look at this part really quick. In the examples, we were practicing, for example, I was very happy, my um, children were at the cinema, um, she was at the church, etc. What What happens with questions? Whenever we want to make questions, we make a little change between this and this. Remember, no combino con verbo be, uh, con el verbo did, all right? I cannot put them together. So what are we going to do? In questions, this is not going to be number one. This is going to be number two. So we do a little switching, okay? If it is um, he was, my question becomes, was he. If my sentence said we were, my question would be were we. So we do a little switch in here, okay? Take a look at the question, for example, we have was he, all right? So remember, we change this a little bit. Was he at home yesterday? Uh, was your father at home yesterday? Was your husband at home yesterday? Was your wife at home yesterday? And there are two possibilities. Yes, he was, if it is a he, if it is a man, okay? 
or no, he wasn't. No, él no estuvo. No, he wasn't. Okay. If I change this and I say she, for example, will allow me a second here, was, uh, was she at home yesterday, I am going to change this one as well, all right? So yes, she was, no, she wasn't. So I have to change this accordingly, all right? Now take a look at this one. Were you at home yesterday? Were you? Puede ser, estuvieron ustedes o estuvo usted, right? Were you at home yesterday? Yes, you were. No, you weren't. But were you, también lo puedo responder como primera persona, like, yo estuve en mi casa. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. So you can give short answers y puedo dar también largas. Yes, I was at home. No, I wasn't at home, All right? So that remember that we do like a little switching here. Um, before moving, okay, before going into the speaking part, I want you to take a look at this um, exercise we have right here, okay? To review everything we have studied. Take a look at this one, for example. I were, I wasn't, or I wearing. What do you think? Which one is the correct one? I at home. First of all, with I, ¿qué puedo usar? What can I use? Wasn't. Exactly. I wasn't. Very good. What about this one? I was, I wasn't, or I were at school. Here, there are two possibilities. ¿Qué puedo usar? What can I use? Was, was, uh, was. I was at school or I, I wasn't was at, at school. school. Exactly. Very good. Take a look at this. I was or I wasn't or I were happy. Which of them is correct? Was, was or wasn't. Okay, let's continue reading. I was or I wasn't. It's true. Ambos son correctos. Because my friends were or weren't at a school too. Were. were. Was. Where? My friends, this one, the letter, uh, letter S, okay? Nos indica que es plural, okay? okay? So we can use where, where we can use? Where, 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 where. So, ¿Cómo dice la oración? Can you read it? My, my friend. I, comenzando I, desde acá. I, I was, was, I was I happy. Was happy because, because, because uh -huh. my friend my friend were, were at school too. Excellent, that, uh -huh. is, that's it. I was happy because my friends were at school too. Exactly, very good. Now take a look at the last one. They? They were uh, happy too. They were happy too. Ellos también estuvieron felices, right? They were happy too. Okay, very good. Now let's take a look at just one more exercise right here okay now what happens if we have questions one more time hacemos un pequeño switch okay take a look at this one. Oh, uy allow me a second ya les mostré la respuesta okay take a look at this little part here okay uh, one more time i was wasn't or were in the park yesterday was was i was very good what about this one really and this is a question. Take a look at this. This is a question. And we have it. What can we use? Was, where? wasn't, or was? Was. Really, was? where it good? Uh, was. 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 was it good? This one depende del sujeto. This is it. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál usamos con it? Was, was or was. where? Was. 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 was it good? Was. was it good? Estuvo buena? Was it good? All right. So, like, te gustó, right? Was it good? What yes, about this? Yes, yes, it, it was, was great. Right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. What about this one? One more time. We have a question here. Where your friends? Where there to where there where? Your friends? Where there? Okay, your friends. your friends. Estuvieron tus amigos? Were there your friends there? Okay. No, they. They were. Where I am. Weren't. They weren't. I 
I was, was my dog. with my dog. Perfect. Exactly. So this is the way we answer, okay? Um, we can give answers that are really short, like no, they weren't. Or puedo expandir, like can give more details. I was with my dog, okay? No, my friends were in their houses. So I can give more details. All right, really good. So, antes de practicar, do you have any question or are we good? All right, so if there is an equation, eh, compartamoslo en el chat, okay? And I will be checking that part. So, just to continue, I want you to, allow me just a second here. I have just one more exercise for you, okay? And this is speaking. So, I have prepared a couple of questions for you, all right? And I want you to, I want you to, first of all, uh, take a picture, please. Take a picture of the questions we have here. We are going to practice these questions, okay? Um, and I want you to give details, okay? As many details as you can. First of all, let's take a look at the meaning of the questions. Number one, where were you born? What is the meaning of the question? ¿Qué quiere decir? What is the meaning? Remember where? Thank you, donde naciste, exactly. Where indica ser o estar, all right? So, but in this case, where were you born is donde naciste, okay? Como lo respondo, con el mismo verbi. I was born in, y decimos el lugar, right? Were you a good student, a good son, a good daughter? So, fueron buenos estudiantes. Were you good students? Were you good sons? Were you good daughters? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Were you sick yesterday? Estuviste, estuvo, estuviste, o estuvieron enfermos, all right? Yesterday, were you sick? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. I was sick last year. So, vamos a dar detalles. We will give some details. Are we good? Yes? Okay. Awesome. So, everybody, we are going to get in groups and let's practice. Okay, here we go. Cuando dice where, 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 no sé, como que siento que digo lo mismo. Cuando dice where y el west, where, where, west, when, no. Porque de pronunciación donde, similar. Ajá. Entonces ahí como que se me traba un poco así como que para decirlo. Okay. Pero quiero ver en qué otra cosa. Ah, ya me fijé de que casi que no puedo, o sea, yo me estaba confundiendo y estaba utilizando el, como que el hoy. Y es de utilizar casi que siempre el yesterday, ¿verdad? Porque como es el, el pasado. O las week, que podría ser la semana anterior. Ajá, como decir, ajá, sí. Hello, hello, you're totally right. I was listening to you guys. Actually, eso es correcto, that's totally right. Como estamos hablando de antes, ok, de tiempo atrás, eh, we can say yesterday, last week, hace dos días, two days ago, a week ago, a year ago. So ya no usamos eh, ahora, we don't use today, we don't use tomorrow, sino expresiones de pasado, right? Yes, yes. Ok, really good. So, 
Tell okay. us. Intentemos. Give it a try, okay? So try to answer the questions y ayudémonos. That is the most important thing, okay? Allow me just a second, guys. Voy a ver cómo están los demás, all right? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Alguien que pregunte. Vale, voy a preguntar. Where, where were you born? Ay. ¿Y qué le voy a contestar, teacher? I was. No, no, no. 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 No, if I can, where were you born? Okay, la misma pregunta le va diciendo. So we say, I was born in, in the place. I was born in Olocuita. That's my answer. What about you? Where were you born? I was um, born in San Salvador. Ah, okay, so you were born in San Salvador. Mayra? I, I was born. I was born. born. I was born. Whoa. ¿Cómo? Born. Born. Así. Yes, I was born. Oh, well, uh, I was born in Aguachapán. In Aguachapán. Okay, thank you, Beatriz. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Okay, very nice. That is really good. Okay, let me go for the next question. Let me see, let me see. Uh, were you a good student when you were in school, high school, uh, kindergarten? Were you a good student? Mm, yes, I was a good student in, well, in the school. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, Mayra, were you? Were you a good student? Uh, no, 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 es, ¿cómo es? No, no, I, uh, no, I, wasn't, uh, bye. No, no, no fui buen estudiante, no, I wasn't, no, I wasn't, all right, tell us, please, compártenos qué hacía, were you terrible? Uh -huh. <laughs> Were you terrible? Yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. So, were you terrible, Mayra? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 What did you do? Tell us. ¿Qué hacía? What did you do? Did you play um... a lot? Did you talk a lot? Did you? I don't know. Did Ay, you... teacher, no me haga decir mis secretos. <laughs> okay. Para que practiquemos, come on, y, y le conozcamos a little more. Tell us. Ay, Dios. Okay, don't worry, oh. don't worry. Let's do something. Escríbalo, type it, okay. Oh, Can we be in WhatsApp and I check it, oh, okay? Are you Para que no se entere. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. Beatriz, what about you? Hello. Hi, Beatriz. Hello, teacher. Okay, hello. Tell us, were you a good daughter? Were you a good student? I was a good daughter. Okay. Okay, so you were a good daughter. What about student? Were you a bad student? Yes. Beatriz was a terrible student, I guess she says. Am I right? Yes. Ah, oh, okay. So Beatriz was a terrible student. Okay. Okay, okay, all right, didn't know. Carolina, did you something bad at a school? Algo malo, did you do something bad? Algo malo, 
you know, mm. I talked a lot. Mm, no, I was. I was. Um, Tranquila? Oh, okay. Say? You were a quiet girl, a calm girl. I okay. Was. In my child. Ah, okay, 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 good. Gracias por la aclaración. All right, thank you. That's it. okay. Okay, girls, sigamos mm -hmm. con las preguntas. Continue practicing the questions. Voy a ver cómo van los demás. All right, really good job. So let's continue. Okay. Thank you. Estrictos cuando eras niño, algo así. Fueron tus padres ah, cuando eras when, when you were a child. Ajá, cuando eras niño. Ajá. Creo que sería, veamos. Okay. Hello there. We are still yeah. with that question, right? Were your parents <laughs> strict? Yes, Hugo, you are right. Were your parents strict when you were a child? Yes, they were or not they weren't? Uh, yes. Were they strict? Yes, they were. Okay, so Hugo, your parents were strict. Sí. Yes, they were. yes, they were. Yes, they were. Teacher, y porque cuando una consulta, cuando decimos were you, preguntamos were you, tenemos que contestar con was. Porque digo yes, I was. Remember, la pregunta la estoy haciendo directa hacia usted. Para mí. Ajá. Exactly. Entonces mm -hmm. yo pregunto con you. Mm -hmm. Therefore, my answer va a ser con I. Y como mm -hmm. con I no uso I were, sino que I was. I Entonces, was. Por eso es el cambio, exactly. So sí. if I ask you, for example, were you happy yesterday? Yes, I was. Uh -huh. Okay. No, yes, I were. I cannot no, say yes. yes, were. I cannot yes, say I was, yes, I were. Yes, yes I, I was. was. Exactly. Gracias. Exactly. Sí. All right. You're good. Yes, okay. I was. Okay. So let's. Yes, let's pregunta, teacher. Yes, Juan Carlos. Y si yo quiero decir a, a Hugo, vaya, él me hizo una pregunta que si, eh, me pregunta, me pregunta Hugo, me dice, eh, where you sit yesterday? Le digo, no, 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 no was o no were. Ah, ok. First. Vamos a considerar cómo me va a responder. If the question is, were you sick? Remember that you puede ser usted o pueden ser ustedes. All right? So, Hugo le puede preguntar directamente a usted, Juan Carlos, o Alejandra y usted. Were you sick? Si usted me quiere decir, yo no estuve enfermo, no, I wasn't. Pero si me quiere contestar como nosotros, no, we weren't. Entonces, depende cómo ah, me responde. Ah. All right? Because no, we weren't. No, we weren't. Because le puedo responder como, you know, my personal answer, como I, o también como nosotros, we, right? Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you are welcome. Sí, porque ya no hizo la pregunta y por eso estábamos con esa duda si decíamos not o solo, solamente was. Yeah, sure. But in this case, entendemos que es una pregunta directa, right? So we ah. answer, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay. Pero, for example, imagine that uh, you are married, right? Y está usted y su esposa. And I ask you, uh, were you in San Salvador yesterday? Me refiero a ambos, right? Were you in San Salvador? And you come and you tell me, yes, we were. Responde yes, como we ambos. Were. Exactly. But me puede decir, yes, I was. Ambas se pueden. Okay. Both are good. All right? Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. No more? No. Okay. no question. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. great. No problem. So, vamos a volver a la sesión principal, okay? Allow me just a second here. Thank you. For joining today's class, okay? So, eh, terminamos la sesión número cuatro. And uh, mañana seguimos con la parte número 5. Espero que ya también tengan sus diplomas, right? And uh, si ya lo tenemos, muéstrenmelo. I want to see your diploma too. Yo se lo mandé, si teacher. Antes del jueves, that would be great. Yeah, Yo I saw it mandé. already. Yes, Bye, I saw it already. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Mayra tiene sueño. Bye.